We don't always have the luxury of recording in a perfect environment. I miss my old studio the most. Not when we're recording, but when I get to the editing. We had great mics, studio foam on the walls to reduce echoing, even soundproofing built into the walls to really isolate it from the rest of the office. These days, however, everyone was recording from home with auditory interruption from their kids or pets or partners to even really loud birds right outside their windows. Really? Birds? Come on, this time of night? We want to remove those noisy neighbors and get our track sounding studio smooth. Let's jump in. In today's video, we're going to cover the basics of the noise removal tool in Adobe Audition. It's pretty straightforward and clean audio can be only minutes away once you get your workflow down. What you're looking for are you know, dead spaces to sample your audio from where your speaker isn't talking. If you listen really closely, this sample isn't too egregious, but you can see all this noise that is like the opposite of silence. See that? See that hum? There we go. So you're going to take a little sample. You want to listen through it once to make sure there's no like clicks at the break point. That'll ensure kind of a better even sample across the entire sample. You want to go to Effects, Noise Reduction slash Respiration, Capture, Noise Print. Now just take a little snapshot. The whole screen snaps to show you that it's snapshotted. And then you don't want just that section, so deselect it. Either just click outside of it, or if you have something selected, the hotkey for that is just G. And then you are going to actually run processing on your Noise Print. Same menu, just come down one. Noise Reduction Process, or Shift-Command-P. And you'll get this great looking, I don't know how best to describe it, a histogram of your noise. And the closer that that green band can be on top of the yellow band is the, the, the better. If you hover over any of these things, it'll give you tool tips about what everything does. I don't like to completely go all the way up because that'll kind of start to cut into the, the tonalities of their voice. And I don't like to completely remove it either. If I do 100% or 100 decibel reduction, you start getting unnatural sounding artifacts. These are all pretty good settings. Just run that. This is about an hour long clip, a half hour long clip. It takes about 30 seconds to run. The life of an editor is very glamorous. It's mostly watching render bars. You can see, before and after, done an amazing job in just one pass. Almost nothing on the waveforms. You mean me? Oh, Jackie agrees with me. And if you just played it like this, you probably, yeah, there's not even anything on the meter here, um, other than like desk pops. And this is probably like a, mm -hmm. yep, slight agreement in the voice. But even that, once you take it into your, your editor, like I run a compressor on everyone and do some panning. So look at that, completely gone from that section. I like to zoom back out for a good overview of everything. Oh, you can see there's more noise going on in another section over here. Zoom, zoom, zoom in. Use your plus and minus keys, no modifiers. What happened here? Maybe their fan kicked in on that laptop. Air conditioner might have kicked on. Lots of things. So you don't want to just sample in one spot. So I'm going to do the same thing again over here. Listen again that you have a clean loop. Sample. Remove. So you can see from the spikes. Again, don't point at that screen. You can't see that screen. You can see from the spikes here, there's only a couple of spots that this is removing anything from. But it will really help in those spots so that you're not like, oh, this is great. And then you get a third of the way into your, your episode and have it turn into, yeah, what happened here? Air conditioning, probably. Is this just fun, just listening to static? This is what I do all day. Welcome to my workflow. Hi, I'm Tom. Some desk bumps. Some breathing. Breathing's fun. I hear that's what normal humans do. Nitpicking at your brother and sister. You're a little like, he's breathing my air, he's breathing too loud. On a podcast, don't breathe, it's too loud. Look at that, completely clean, both visually and on your volume meter. Snap back out. Your backslash, the one that's below the vertical line, the OR key. That's much better. If we want to do a little Bob Ross before and after. 
before, after. So, pretty little bush right there. Nice tree in the background. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, could save here, but I don't save over the original files. Always keep data. Those hard drives are cheap. But mistakes are not. Words to live by. And if you're curious, best practices for podcast output is 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, I like 24 bit. That gives me a little bit of extra room. I think I can hear the difference. People say you can't. But when I hear the same source recorded from a 16-bit compressor and a 24-bit compressor, there, there seems to be more richness and fullness. And with that, we have a clean audio file ready to work in the editor of your choice. I hope you found that helpful or learned something new. Are there any other features of Audition you're curious about? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please subscribe so we can grow this little community of freelancers. And come join me on Twitch where I stream audio, video, and DIY tips like this every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks for watching. See you next time.